Hey y'all, Chef Irix guy here, and I think the follow-up review is probably a lot more important than the original review. So this is my follow-up review after using the Pit Boss electric smoker for several weeks. I love this thing, but again, to keep things honest, I'm going to tell you things that, uh, well, just a few small things that, that aren't deal breakers at all. I mean, it's still my favorite smoker. Number one, this gauge that comes with it looks very high quality but <laughs> it doesn't read an accurate temperature. Small gripe, uh, but that's definitely an area for improvement. But what I do, I use my wireless um, probe, and you can find it linked within this video's description, as well as the electric smoker. But this right here, I just opened the door to spray, so it dipped a little bit. It's 182, that's my ambient probe. And then the ribs that I'm smoking are at 135 right now. So they've got a long way to go. What I like about this, this window is nice. You can see I've, well, I've got a water pan down below and then I actually added a second pan, just kind of a drip pan because I'm doing uh, baby back ribs and then I've got some chicken up top. But it's nice being able to see that. This is easy to clean. You know, what, what I would recommend doing after your smoke, clean the inside of that glass, you know, keep it looking good. Haven't had any problems with it. What I really like about this is this large wood smoker box and it's easy and see it's not hot to the touch so you know after this burns through if i need to replenish my wood chips it's easy to pull that out put them in and slide it back in so that's a very nice uh very nice feature and i like that i don't have to use pellets i can just go to the store or you can you can find them linked within this video's description too usually what i do is just order my hickory and applewood chips online it makes it a lot easier and then you just replenish that super super duper easy you can see here there's a ton of smoke coming out the back because I'm, I'm smoking with hickory but when you look at the seal even where I've got my temperature probe going through I don't see any smoke escaping now admittedly during a previous video I did have a little bit of smoke here but I guess since I tightened my this little uh, handle thing I mean, it seems to have a perfect seal. And obviously the smoke's supposed to come out the back because that's the, you know, the vents. But I mean, this thing is, uh, it's awesome. I like that I don't have all those digital gauges. I like that I don't have integrated uh, thermometers or anything. I just bring my own solution and that's wireless. And again, you can find it and the smoker linked within this video's description, but it just makes it easy to, um, you know, easy to do. And I like how these legs are tall because if it is wet, or if you store it outside like I do, um, this keeps it off the ground. And then obviously something I would definitely do if you are gonna store it outside is get a cover. Um, and you know, when it when it cools after you've after you smoked and after you've cleaned the inside of your smoker uh, and it's cooled down, cover it up, you know, keep it pristine. But I haven't had any problems. The only, well, the only minor gripe is this built-in uh, thermometer. It just doesn't work. I mean, it works, it's just not accurate. And I've proven that by putting ambient probes, you know, at that top level. And uh, the temperatures don't seem to agree. I mean, obviously, if you had an ambient probe down low versus up high, the one down low may be warmer because it's closer to the heating heating source. But, um, and this little knob right here is nice to be able to turn it on and adjust the uh, temperature. You can make it uh, hotter or cooler, you know, whatever you need to do, easy to regulate. It's got everything you need, including that see-through front window, but it has stuff I don't need and I don't want, and that's gadgets and stuff built in that are probably going to break. I'd rather just, you know, bring my own gadget like I do here and uh, and just use that to monitor my smokes, the ambient temperature and the meat temperature versus depending upon something that, you know, comes in the smoker. I don't want to spend more for the smoker. And, you know, this way, if let's say this thing breaks, I can just replace it but I, I don't have to replace a smoker because it's a solution that's, you know, outside of the smoker. It's not built in. That's just my personal preference, but I would definitely, without hesitation, buy this Pit Boss again. And again, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it online. And I've also linked the wireless uh, temperature probe like I use. I got two probes in right now, just an ambient and a uh, meat probe, but it'll do up to four. So it's, re it's really cool. Very, very cool. 
Tell me what you think within the comment section below and be sure to subscribe and check out all my other electric smoking videos too. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.